Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved, and welcome back to the Circle of Stone and Shadow. We're going right into Mission X, a, a mission that took eight years to make. Let's see if it was worth the wait, shall we? There is no weakness but indecision. Uh, I don't know about that one. No cruelty but dishonesty. Well, that, no, that's obviously not true. And no evil but oh fuck, we're dealing with a fanatic, aren't we? Such the creed of one who serves blindly. It is what drives me. Well, you're a fucking idiot then. It just as the wind drives my vessel, invest in some engines to the distant shore. Yeah, the far shore. Good evening, everyone. The Mission X project is at a critical junction. The situation with Lord Reputo has gone from bad to worse. Considering that his territory nearly surrounds ours. The last small district linking us to our allies has never been more important. Oh. The key to its control is the Ivory Rose Casino, which Lord Reputo has already made a bid to purchase. Nice cinematic so far. Bit of an all art style. An ally, Lady Antoinette, is going to prevent that by drawing Reputo and the casino's owner into a meeting which will be vulnerable to some intervention. If you know what I mean. Dante, you'll be getting in dressed as a nobleman after arriving by stagecoach. Ah, incognito mission, eh? Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Once inside, discreetly pick up your gear. You will be given notes describing your tasks and equipment in more detail. We will talk again when we get inside. For now, good luck. We're all counting on you, Agent. Alright! Let's see, difficulty expert, professional, and impossible. Consider yourself Warned. It's the impossible difficulty. Impossible doesn't mean very hard. Very hard is winning the Nobel Prize. Impossible is eating the sun. <laughs> nah, I doubt they're gonna pull something like that, even if it would be funny. Alright. Quickly review your maps and notes, enter the casino and collect the equipment. Use the mask to contact Sheen and begin the mission. So you'll be entering the casino in the guise of a customer. As soon as you don your gear, you'll be treated as an intruder. Alright, so we're in casing mode then. Alright. Uh, do not be seen by a disabled Cloud, Reputo, Antoinette, their personal servants, or their bodyguards. Why not? Ant why, an why would Antoinette be worried? I thought, I thought Antoinette was on our side. Oh yeah, and as before, the uh... Mission, the uh, place I downloaded this from has some, something of a extended intro. I am Pavlov's cat. Until now, my role has been behind the scenes doing research and keeping the circle's copious files organized and accessible. This is my closest involvement thus far with a live mission, and it is a crucial one. Lord Reputo is in an excellent position to destroy the Circle of Stone and Shadow, ruin all of Master Nightfall's work, and kill any known or suspected agents of the Circle. Man, you guys suck. <laughs> he really got the drop on you here, hasn't he? <laughs> My part is to ensure that information is accurate and accessible to the team who will be working against this threat. <laughs> See, this is why Garrett works alone. You guys are... are have completely... it got completely screwed. The Ivory Rose Casino and Gentlemen's Club is the key piece in controlling the district of, the, of Three Gates Bridge. Reputo must not be allowed to purchase the Ivory Rose. I have done as much as I can, but still much remains uncertain. 
one of Master Nightfall's associates, Lady Na Antoinette, has agreed to serve as a distraction during the discussion of bids for the casino, if you know what I mean. Without her aid, Reputo would have an easy purchase with no competition. I hope she can do this without arousing suspicion, but I fear there is nothing she can do besides delay her, him with her charms. She has no hope against Reputo's wealth. However, the factor that has me most concerned is Agent Dante. He has been with us since last winter, but this will be his first mission as part of a team. Sheen feels he is ready. Master Nightfall trusts Sheen, and so I must as well. Still, I cannot help but worry what an inexperienced agent might do in, in a stressful situation like this one. I will totally fail you now. I've done all that I can for now. The fate of the whole circle may very well be in Dante's hands. Let's see. The story thus far. Three seasons have passed since the late winter's night when a small inn in a remote corner of the city was host to the Scepter Owner Society, <laughs> which still makes me chuckle every time I see it, and was infiltrated by the amateur thief Dante. Amateur? <laughs> uh, at the behest of the mysterious Master Nightfall, founder of the Circle of Stone and Shadow. Since then, Dante has worked slowly through the ranks of the Circle, gaining the trust of those around him. Now, as the cold of winter once again grips the city, he stands ready to join the highest ranking agents in the organization, the Material Components, MCs. <laughs> you know, they're one of the most uh, the highest ranking uh, groups of agents. The other is the Deadly Jackknives, or DJs. <laughs> Captain by Sheem and under the direct command of Master Nightfall himself. Meanwhile, the face of the city is changing. The old factions splinter and quarrel amongst themselves. In these troubled, uncertain times, the wardens thrive. <laughs> Impotent, they work in broad strokes, manipulating the powers of the city as so many pieces on a chessboard. Ugh, <laughs> chessboard metaphors. What a vile thing. However, in their bloated expansion to fill the power void left by the decline of other factions, frictions have turned to conflicts. War has broken out amongst them. Lord Reputo, one of the most powerful wardens, has turned his eyes upon the Circle and Master Nightfall. Sensing a threat far greater than that of a petty crime lord, he struck it up once to smite Nightfall and found his suspicions to be very well founded. Reputo's territory and resources are vast, and they surround Nightfall's tiny foothold in Hightown. But Nightfall's alliances are firm, and his organization holds many powerful secrets. In a laboratory deep below the Circle's territory, the mad Dr. Holming works, because of course we always need a mad scientist. <laughs> the MCs deliver him goods, stolen from the powerful factions of the city which he uses to fuel his experiments, and he in turn supplies them with inventions. Now, his latest creation, stolen from the hands of the mechanist Kareth himself, is finally ready to be used. Wait, his creation was stolen from Kareth? That doesn't quite make sense. I guess you could, uh, maybe what he, the components for the creation might have been stolen, but that's a weird way to phrase it. It is at the collision of these threads that Mission X begins, at the northern gate to the Ivory Rose Casino in, a, in the small district of Three, Three Gates Bridge, a pivotal strategic point in the war between the Wardens. Armed with the creations of Dr. Holmey, the MCs and their newest addition, Dante, set in motion a plan to defeat Lo Lord Reputo's designs for the Circle's destruction. Sounds like, sounds good. And of course we're going on the impossible difficulty, because I am and always will be a moth to Folly's flame. Also, I don't need any fucking help to solve puzzles. Unless by no help you mean, a little to no help you mean I won't be getting any hints whatsoever to what the solution are and I had to search to figure out a trial and error because that would be annoying. But probably not. Alright. Let's see, what do I have? Uh, noble clothes, worn, compass, last note. Yeah, and jack shit else. Are well, we getting in dressed as a noble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Won't hassle the ground floor guards. Won't hassle me before I change into my leaving gear. Ground floor, eh? All right. We go to turn off the part of the elevator. Be careful to get the right switch, or the guards may come running. Remember, if Agent Stone is in the elevator shaft and the lift starts moving, she may be killed. All right, sounds like an important job. 
This is, I should probably do that. At the earliest convenience. This is where you must go to shut off the cameras in the vault. Security outside this room is very heavy, so I suggest you find a way in from above. Agent Stone cannot enter the vault until the cameras are off. Alright. Vault. Do not go here, Dante. That sounds like a challenge. Alright. Alright, a nice, good map, just like in the previous mission. Why are some of these different? Uh, whatever. Upstairs from here is the top floor. They said staff only. No map, sorry. Damn it. Rapido is staying in the monarch suite. Worth a look if you're not afraid of his guards. Just don't get caught. Alright, Lady Antoinette, Wardeness ally to the circle. That's it. Close ally of the circle. Big case bridge falls into Rapido's gas. Grass, and today and Nightfall's territory would be separated, forcing resources to pass through enemy territory as they move from one ward to the other. This would prove an unacceptable situation under any means. Under any means? Whatever. Reputed negotiations with the casino's owner, Cloud, have been crashed by Antoinette. Cloud's nature has allowed Antoinette to begin another round of negotiations, which she plans to stretch long into the night, giving the team the time that it needs. Naturally, she has no intentions of buying the casino herself. Alright. She does not possess wealth enough to outbid a repito, nor does she have any intention of making good on anything she may offer a cloud. If you know what I mean. Lord Reputo. Which one? <laughs> There's two people there. Good to think of it. Who's this? Oh, maybe the, those guys on the, to the left are their bodyguards. I don't know. The relationship between Reputo and Nightfall is a classic lion versus mouse stance. I sense there's some interesting history there. I'm shocked Nightfall has lasted this long given the situation. I'd like to know more, but even as an agent, I'm still not told much. He is using bonds to search, purchase the building. James Bonds, which he has deposited into the casino's vault. He knew the risk, but he felt it was more risky to delay his possession of the Ivory Rose, since he expects us to try to intervene. Sadly for him, Nightfall's agents have found a way into the vault using the elevator shaft, so we'll be able to replace his bonds with forged ones. The resulting chaos should be quite advantageous, as will his real bonds in our possession. The next step is for the Circle to acquire the Ivory Rose. If I discover any document with information that could aid in such an acquisition, I should get a copy. What is with these C massive lowercase c's? They look... Okay. I, yeah, they did a good job of making all this text look very uh, look handwritten, by which I mean terrible. <laughs> Mr. Cloud inherited the Ivy Road from his father, and, is, and has since become known for his ineffectual management. It has been known for quite some time that he wanted to sell the casino, though it is quite a profitable business. Rumors about, um, about the life of dissolution Cloud plans to spend his newfound riches on. Although the casino vault can be accessed from the elevator shaft, why is there a comma there? We still need clouds. Oh, that's an apostrophe. Okay, that's way too high. Own key to open the lockboxes. One of our agents pickpocketed it earlier today. Oh, that's another apostrophe. And we'll return it to Cloud's room after we're done. Cloud is known for his absent-mindedness. He probably won't think anything amiss if he finds his key back in his room. Rumor has it that Cloud is a mistress upon whom he lavishes attention, boarding her for free in one of his hotel rooms. S since his neglected wife is a respected aristocrat, the identity of, his, of this mistress will be great blackmail material. If I discover which room the mistress is staying in, I should make note of it. Alright. Agents of the Circle. It's been a few months since I became a member of the Circle, and after all this t that time, I am now finally being accepted into Nightfall's elite band of agents, known as the Material Components. Agent Stone is a veteran, a master thief of the highest caliber. To be on a mission with her is an honor. Agent Steel, like me, is a new addition. I hear that his position is well earned and that he will be the bar by which I am measured. Agent Rubber is a spy who has been planted in the Ivy Rose some time ago. He is the one who provided my maps and gear. Sheem, aka Agent Air, leads the group and will be feeding us orders. And then there is me, who is apparently slated to be known as Agent Glass. 
That's why they're called the material components. And Agent Air is a bit of an odd one. Whatever. All right, an agent's gear. Dante, here are some details about your gear. Unfortunately, we weren't able to smuggle in any large weapons. You should be able to find a bow inside the building. You couldn't even give me a bow, God damn it. You'd think that would be one of the easier things to smuggle in. Uh, uh, costume and cloak. Yeah, it's part of the mission dressed. As a noble, allowing you to freely explore the casino areas of the first floor. You won't be able to hide in shadows until you don your cloak. Makes sense, I guess. Kind of. Sap, a smaller blackjack. Though it is useless against any headgear. Any headgear? Bloody hell. It's amnestic effects in those struck, along with a minimum of swelling at the contact point, making it a weapon of choice among ages. That sounds like it's only really going to be useful against, uh, like, c civilians and such, because surely all the guards will have at least some form of helmet. Uh, knockout drops and dagger. The dagger in itself is a quick, nimble weapon. Once you apply the knockout drops, your enemy will pass out on contact. Each green vial is good for three hits. We have limited amounts, so use what you have sparingly. Alright. Lock, pick, and torque wrench. Apply pressure with the torque wrench and push the pins in place with the pick itself. Ah, so a much simplified version of regular of lock picking from vanilla. You're already pretty good at it. That I am. Copy kit. Get a copy of any documents of use to the circle which you come across. Copy because if the document goes missing, then they know that we know. Yeah. Dust bomb. Unveil telling fingerprints on keypads. Ooh, interesting. Plus you used to mark the door of the hotel room and Cloud's mistress is staying in. Alright, what does it do if I hit someone with it, though? Hmm. You know, the old pocket sand. Vine arrow. A gift from our pagan enemies. <laughs> Hold firm in wood and plaster, gratings, railings, and decorative holdings. Alright, communication the mask and scouting over. Um, right. Communication through agents is done through the mask. It was once a tool of the mechanist. I altered its design for our use. Not only does it allow agents wearing it to talk to other agents and, and home base, but the eyepiece will allow you to use scouting orbs. Alright! If, you if you'll be fed orders and advice, you'll be able to report your progress to home base. We will also be able to hear all that the other agents say. Good to know. That's interesting. Alright, keys are like money. The more you have, the more doors will be open to you. Alright. Sounds good then. Alright, save. So let's case the place then, shall we? Why are there two doors? Whatever. That's weird. That goes out of the map by the looks of it. I could shoot a. Hang on. Yeah, railings. I bet if I got a vine arrow, I could go up that air. Easy. Worth thinking about. Maybe I should mark it on the map. Also, why are like four people all talking over each other all of a sudden? Um, where am I? Ah. Uh, um. Sure, why not? You guys are all just talking at each other all at once. Bloody hell. 
I'm getting to see all. Do you really need loot on this map? Or we're not here for theft after all, but. Haiti left your escort for the night. Um, what does it say? The Rose Hall Casino will be closed early tonight due to a conference scheduled at that time. We also regret to inform you that the hotel is no vacant space. However, feel free to visit the Hart Hall Casino Bar. A bartender will be there to serve your meals throughout the night. All right. Ah, shut up. Later, Mr. Cloud, this tour is starting to wear on my nerves. I would like to begin our negotiations immediately. Hey, nonsense. I am in no such hurry. Oh, God, Please what is that voice quality? Continue. As you wish. Not one to talk As about. I was saying, last voice audio was quality, but not damn. <laughs> Whom shall remain nameless? I fail to see the point in this banter. Could we please continue? Why, yes, my lord. This majestic gallery is called the Ivory Hall. Look high up, my lord Reputo. What do you see? Water dripping from the skylight. It must cost a fortune to heat. Well, you've already seen most of the first floor. Mr. Cloud, I for one am very much enjoying your tour. It's obvious to me that the Ivory Rose has many splendid things to offer. I do believe the Ivory Rose would suit either of you handsomely. It sounds like she's literally phoning it you know, in. I recall one recent occasion Yes, where yes, I'm sure it's an amusing anecdote. I do not like to be kept waiting. I must insist that we retire to a comfortable location and begin our negotiations. As you wish. If Milady Antoinette desires, the tour may be continued at a later hour. If you'll just follow me, my servant will have brought the elevator down by now. We will ride comfortably to a room I have set aside for this purpose. I like the guards. They look neat. Even backed by your allies, you can't hope to outbid me, Miss Antoinette. Keep that in mind, that I am willing to compensate you for your non-interference in this transaction, and that the alternative might not be in your best interest. <laughs> After you, Lord Reputo. Part of them. Why are you just standing there? Okay. Well, after you, evidently. Let's. Gentlemen. All right. That's where my gear is, apparently. Good to know. But before we gear up, let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. What are you holding? Is that an entire... <coughs> what is that? It doesn't even look like you're holding it. It just looks like it's... Like... Talk to your hand. Marilyn, of course. Whatever. Let's see. Tea. Minister sweet tea. Sweet. Ooh. Hang on. <coughs> I think we got away with it. Alright, so that, I think we are going to be robbing this place blind. As well as doing our important mission. I mean, yeah, the mission is, you know, about what's important. <laughs> no, no sense not. Uh, but we could always uh, keep our hands quick along the way. Alright. I just stole 
a little over 200 gold or bucks or whatever the currency is in a broad view of everyone and no one noticed. Oh yeah. Star Wars, baby. That's probably an alarm. Ah, fuck. That seems to be... What is this? To the Orchid Hall Fine Dining. Oh. This way to the, uh... Stairs, apparently. Ah, fuck. Uh... I am rapidly running into the limits of what I can actually do before I gear up. Hey, man. Oh, well. Evening. I see anything in the ladies' room. Doesn't look like it. Right. Yo. All right, let's gear up then. Let me guess, it's the out of order one. Yep. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hi. I'm wearing the mask. You do know how to use it, don't you? Uh, yeah. Yes. Good. Steel isn't picked up his equipment yet, so the choice of tasks is up to you. You can make your way to the power room in the basement and shut off the elevator's electricity so that Agent Stone can access the elevator shaft. Or you can make your way through the ventilation system to the security room and deactivate the camera system. Hmm. I'll shut off the elevator's oh, no. power. Damn it! Good. Oh, okay. The power is controlled by I guess I'm utility shutting out the elevator. In the basement. Didn't mean to do that. Once you have shut off the power to the elevator, Agent Stone will be able to access the elevator shaft from the roof. Whatever. The bottom of the shaft is right above the vault. It's the only safe way in there. Agent Rubber will leave a key to the basement of the foreman's office. Get to work. I need to find a bow. This is Agent Stone. I've made it to the roof. I can head in as soon as Dante and Steel are finished. Alright. I guess we're doing the elevator. I, I don't really care. Oh, oh. Sheem, how do I get into the basement? The foreman's office is west of the casino hall. That's where you'll find the key and the basement entrance. All right. Foreman's office. It's here. All right. Bit of a ways. Probably have to go around that way. Maybe through there. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Steel here. I've got my gear. Dante has already chosen to switch off the power. Your task is to disable the camera system. The specific instructions should be in your notes. Got it. I'll probably be done before our newest agent is even close to his objective. Wanna bet? I can hear you, Steel, and I'll be done before you know it. I'll take that bet. In fact, I plan to be done with this part before you're even close to your objective. So you can go climb a tree. No. Where is he? Ah, here we go. Don't open outwards, don't open outwards, don't open outwards. Oh, damn it, it opens outwards, open it. Yep. Alright, I heard someone in here. 
cancellations with the suite. The lord and lady who had been using the minister suite, which I have the key to, pulled out after they found out half the casino was shut down tonight. They left in a huff and didn't even bother getting their stuff out of the suite. Someone needs to go secure their valuables. Oh, don't worry, I'll secure them, all right. Also, our honor lady Antoinette, la guest lady Antoinette, is mysteriously elected not to stay the night. Seems to me she doesn't plan on winning this haggle, but you didn't hear that from me. Remember to check her suite too. This folk, this folk always forgets something. Oh, I'll be checking her out, all right. Hmm. Please don't hurt me. Ugh. Oh, I just get casino service. Ah, that'll be handy, I think. Probably for all those like, probably for like a bunch of those staff only rooms that I encountered. Ooh, what's that? Nice, nice. A lot of marble. You know, marble in real life is not actually anywhere near this loud. It's actually, yeah, it's actually relatively quiet. Oops. Ooh. Richemer, don't forget that the, as the foreman, aha, you here, you are in a privileged position. You get your own room, your own office, and a higher salary than most. So I expect you to keep a tight rein on the activity that is the casino staff. I expect a nightly report to be delivered. Bloody 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 blah. Anything goes missing in the changing room. I can go pay. Yeah, I don't care. Ah. Ooh. Nice speed potion. That could come in handy. Nice. Oh, it's 125. Okay, this is... Okay, let's see if this actually works. No. No, it does not. Damn it! This blackjack shaping out to be pretty worthless against the guards, that's unfortunate. Um, is this the right way? No, this probably leads to... Yeah, that. Okay, and that leads to that. Which means... This is... yeah. Well, not quite, but close enough. What's this? Oh! Truly, I don't think I have enough water crystals to douse the ovens. Could you send someone from the vents and see if maybe some have formed in the pools? If worse comes to worse, I can just use buckets of water. But you know how slow that is. Wow, you lazy bum. I can't take the food? Seriously? Alright. Zero out of ten. Worst mission ever. Alright, this should be the office. Copy kit. Nice, I guess. What does it take for me to get my laundry delivered to me? I have my fine red suit to the cleaner, taken to the York cleaners. I'm told that we return tonight. Uh... Okay, I don't really care. I know the Suno wants one of us uh, to make sure that the clubhouse always gets locked up for that, especially the balcony doors. But damn it, Gritchmer, the guards in the clubhouse have locked themselves in again, refusing to answer my knock. We must definitely have left the balcony doors wide open. It will, of course, be my ass tomorrow when Suno checks and finds them like that. How am I supposed to lock them when I don't have the key to the place and the guards won't let me in? Am I supposed to climb up the balcony from the outside like the thieves were trying to keep out? Simon, you know, but me, perhaps. Um. Thank you. 
arbitration room here. Sorry, Diane, but you're it. Take care of that sassy bitch with every beck and call. When she's out of here, if you've done well, me and the boys will buy you as much booze at the, at the pub as you can take. So you can drink coo under the table. Uh, sweet. Ambassador's room. Ambassador's Lady Antoinette. Monarch's speech. Do not sign any more guests tonight. If anyone asks, say we have no vacancies. Interesting. Even though there's four. Curious. Daily pack of your things over towards me, you're fired. Julius, per your request, a solution to your perpetual I can't reach the bloody keys dilemma. Alright, I've got. I've picked up Julius' stool. How oh, disgusting. One of ours decided to try a drink Reputo's boys under the table and went up sloshed, soaked, and sodded. Wait until he passes out and then leave him in my office so I can fire him as soon as he wakes up. Bar of soap. Apparently the guests like the smell of it so much she wants to take some up. Okay. Weirdo. Okay. So there was a... Uh, key somewhere around here? Ah, fuck. Ah, here we go. I have the key, I'm not sure what I have the key, but I'm not sure what I need to do next. You'll have to shut off the power using the correct switch from the basement utility room. Alright. Elevated power using the basement utility room. Okay. Where is the basement? There's up. Where? Ah, window leads to the basement. Okay. I can swing around. I can swing around through the... Hmm. Maybe not through the front lobby. Uh... I'll find a way. I just need to get back there. Oh. What about this? Ow. Oh, Damn it. Ventilation shaft. Damn it. Damn, it's cold here. No. no. Idiot. Who's there in the shadow? All right. I'm no. Oh, come on! This is impossible! I, I can't go- I can't climb up there without making a huge noise and then immediately falling off. This is ridiculous. Why am I even making a noise? Alright, I'm in the ventilation shafts. Damn, it's cold. Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! I can't go two inches without immediately just sliding up! That's not mentioning. Alright, I'm in the ventilation shafts. Damn, it's cold in here. Come back out here, you- where even am I? What? Am I in the basement? Uh, someone get it! Uh. Hang on. Yeah, I must be in the basement. I'm in the kitchen of uh. the basement. Uh. Now, uh. That's it! You've had it! There we go. My God, a murder! Help! What? It's your body that you're reacting to. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Now, that's the electric car. You go through that door over there. Shit. Shit. Did you see something over there? Nothing there. Weird. Oh. Shit. How do oh wait, I've got lockpick, of course. Ah. Gotta fucking tap it again. Okay. Alright, uh... 
Do not shut off the power to any systems during business hours. Start turning things off and we'll turn them right back on and it's your own fault if you get yourself electrocuted or mangled to death in the machinery. Turn, on more than, turn more than one thing off and you can be sure we'll come running. Also, if I find the taffer who keeps throwing out the short fuses, there will be lights for out for him. When we get a bad one, keep it in the toolbox in the storeroom upstairs. The foreman said I could keep, take them home and use them for my tinkering. You know how much cover costs these days? Oh my. Okay. Pick this lock so I've got another way of through. That's an awkward timing, but alright. Now which one is it? I flipped the switch, but I don't think that'll do it. A guard will just flip it back. We just have to find a way to keep the power off. Is that the right switch? I don't know. It's a constantly switching the power back on. Uh maybe these fuse boxes. Aha. Uh -huh. Does that work? Okay, I just uh, loaded a save and case the place out a bit more. And look what we have here. Bad fuse. Now that could definitely handy in some way. We're dealing with this stuff. Anything else that I missed? Don't see anything. this? Nothing. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright. Quite a bit of loot here. Not very valuable loot, but hey, there's a lot of it, that, so that makes up for it. Aha! Here we go. Didn't even realize this was the door to the basement. This time. Alright. Someone making noise. Ah, fuck. Okay. <coughs> oh, Is he's gotta be yeah. kidding me. The in <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have some space between your fucking patrols. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! <coughs> oh my god, this is going to take a million years. Maybe I should have just hit them with the knockout drops. Oh. There we go. Take a bolt out with the knockout drop. Oh, shit, wrong with save. If I do that, I think I can do this before he even gets into the ventilation shafts. And really fucking embarrass him. Like, yeah, oh, you thought you were gonna do it before I even get close? No, I'm gonna do it before you even get close. Motherfucker. Uh, hello? Anyone there? Well, seems clear. <clears throat> Maybe if I... I can do... Th hang on. I, t I should take out the other guard as well, because he's gonna patrol this way before he goes into the place. So that I have to wait around to knock him out as well. Um... One not... Hang on. One. Oh, I must have already used one. I'm just completely motivated by just, like, fucking speed-running this shit. 
Just purely for the sake of embarrassing that guy who thought he could embarrass me. Key, 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 key. Ah, fuck. You can smack talk me on a public channel. Someone making noise. I'll show you the error of your ways. Is that you? Oh. There. That's both of them. Now. No sense in moving them, not until I get the bow at the least. This one. Alright. Now. Remove this. And. Replace it with the bad fuse, I assume? I flipped the switch, but I don't think that'll do it. A guard will just flip it back. We just have to find a way to keep the power off. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I slipped right past the bolt. That's incredible. Come on, come on. Fuck. All right. I'm in the ventilation the shafts. Damn, it's cold in here. They really should upgrade. Task complete. Damn it. There's gotta be a way to do it faster. Okay, I'll... You know what, I'll go for... Uh, I'll skip past the, uh... The loop for now. I'll come back for it later. I just do it like... If it's just like a little bit faster... Too fast. I flipped the switch, but I don't think that'll do it. A guard will just flip it back. We just have to find a way to keep the power off. Where's the damn fuse? Ugh. Oh wow, that's much faster. Yeah, that was like a thir good 30 seconds, holy shit. And they don't notice what I'm saying? <laughs> I really hope that power plant can blow me up. Boom! Um. No, damn it! Oh, I was it. I was just too slow reporting success. Damn it! I because it didn't pop up. Maybe it did, I just didn't notice it. Uh. Come back Task here, complete. Fight. And how's your job going, Steel? Just fine. Everything looks good from up here. Good job, Dante. You'll need to remain in the casino until the bonds have been switched, but you're free to explore. I suggest you look into your secondary objectives. I'll be sure to. Oh, yes! Ventilation shafts. Damn, it's cold in here. Damn, you're slow. I've already. You've barely even. I mean, I already completed your objective, and you're. And you haven't even gotten near yours yet. You are slow as hell, aren't you?
Oh, hi. And with the power dead, it's so much easier to sneak around these people. And now, oh, and with that, uh, with that guy, uh, oh, who was it that I was competing with? Yeah, Agent Steel, <laughs> with him completely blown out of the water, due to my tireless save, uh, save and, saving and loading efforts, I'm feeling pretty good. And I only had to use a third of a knockout drop. It's true. I was at my post by the back stair when I saw Mr. Cloud ducking out of the hall and into one of the smaller rooms. We could find out her name, we could blackmail ourselves enough money to get out of the city. <laughs> so like you're blackmailing yourselves. Alright. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Got a new key, but does it go to here? No. Is that even a new key? Hang on. Basement access. Okay, I think it was just another basement key. Makes sense. Because there's clearly other ways to get into the basement and you wouldn't want to get stuck. But, yeah. This lock picking system is messing with my muscle memory. Every time it's every time it gets stuck, I think, oh I gotta switch to a different one. But no, it's just you gotta Stop holding the button and then redo it. Now then, if I call one of my suicide runs, I notice a bow over here. If I just go, uh, I'll have to get into the belly of the beast, but the beast is blinded. It might not be too difficult. They don't close the door on me, that's rude. Oh yeah! Now, let's see what loot I can find here. Oh. Nice. The lack of ability to blackjack these guards is unfortunate, but I've dealt with that before. At least I can blackjack some people, and there are other ways of dealing with them. I... Normally it's, uh... More absolute. Jeez, uh, I've got so much, so much crap in my inventory. Just, okay. Shit. Okay. Does anyone have a key? Thank goodness I outpaced them. Just about. Outpaced. What the fuck are you doing? When Cloud sends the order, I want you to deactivate the cameras as promptly as possible and get those bonds to the top floor immediately. Also, take that last bit of gold in. I don't trust the men with it. The code is 3760. Remember to change it tomorrow. Deactivate the cameras as promptly as possible and get those bonds to the top floor immediately. Interesting. Uh. I found him! Get Shit. him! The alarm! Shit. Okay, yeah, I can I can knock out that guy. At the very least. <laughs> oh, he's no longer hovering. Damn it! Pushed my luck a bit too far. Ah, I should have saved. Put that scroll. I don't even remember what I did to get out of this one. <laughs> I can probably come back over here. Yeah. And swing by. Do this again just in case I need to. And if need be, I have enough knockout drops for everyone in this room. Shit. 
need might be. I take this guy out with another note. Ah! Sort of. Okay. Come out here now! Come back here, I'm damn not it! Kidding. Four, five, six. Wow, that's quite a bit. When you tap as such as it's money, you're dead. Shit. Ah, uh, I don't think that's a bookcase. I don't think there will be any secrets in that bookcase. It looks painted on. Okay. Just wait till don't I find think you. You'll escape. I think I'm getting away with this. I don't have a key to that door. Which is the camera room. Yeah. Uh, it's the one that I I don't need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, don't think I can get in. If I could, oh, they'd be getting in that way. Okay. Oh, this might be a problem. Wait. Okay, I was about to say, I, could, I can just hit them with the water out, but turns out I don't even need to. Convenient. Alright. I have a bow. I got a bunch of cash. I can e I, and I can get some more if I just go back up into that one room. And I have no more uh, time sensitive things to do. Technically, the mission wasn't time sensitive. I'm fairly certain we have all night to do it. But pride. I could have probably unlocked that with the key. Could I? Hang on, let me try it. No. Huh. Does work with that, though. <laughs> Holding with the uh, knockout drops stuff. So rather interesting. Alright. Just grab everything here. Completely clear out the basement, then go back up. Clear out that dining room. Oh yeah. Blessed darkness. It's sweet embrace. Sweet comforting embrace. No. He's sweet. right here! Over here! Oh, he, he has Shit. a sword! Someone get him! Okay, I don't think there's anything in there. All right, clean sweep then, through all the way through the basement. I really hope that powder plant on the application led her away again. The electrical system in this building is horrendous. <laughs> we really should upgrade. Perhaps. Nah, I can leave it. If it hasn't been detected so far. It won't be. It probably won't be detected. All right. Go back, clear that place out that we couldn't, that we had to. Alright, and that's uh, 769, nice. These are worth like 8. And there's that. Alright, that's. What? 169? Uh, 116, rather? Very nice. Right. Nice. All that work. To just to fucking turn the lights off. Jesus. That sounds really obnoxious. Ooh. I wonder. Yeah. I don't have the key for them, but I bet I can... Yeah. Get a bit of extra cash this way. There we go. Ooh, wow, that's quite a bit of extra cash. All 
right. Oh, it is quite dangerous. There we go. A little closer. A little closer. There we go. Ace, that's... Oh yeah, each of these has like 75. I like appropriate, uh, appropriately... Playable diversion with this. Where are my risks? Um, okay. Annoying. Come on. Start your patrol, you lazy bum. Hopefully the guy in there won't spot me. I think I got away with it. Alright, quickly. Oh yeah! 225 loot. That's 375s lined up in a row. Now that's what I call a jackpot. Yes. Ah, that leads to upstairs. All right. That seems like a good place to stop. I've been recording for over an hour already. I've done my objective long before that guy actually managed to do his part. So that feels pretty damn good. And now, well now, uh, now I've just, uh, and also I managed to snag myself a bow. That'll give me a lot more flexibility. And I've sweeped through m most of the first floor. There's still quite a bit to do. My optional objectives and all that. Even a uh, fourth floor that isn't, that doesn't have a map. All right. The my agent work is mostly done. Now for the beaven to begin, or rather, next time. Until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. So long. Suckers.